Hold it right there. A blonde haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. <laughs> are you. Core of 30? We are an elite brigade. The outcast? And why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. you doing back here? Holly, it's nice to see you again. I, to be honest, I'm not as a result. Oh, Holly. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on? Oh, Master. Huh? I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari, no. I only found out that he left. <sighs> hmm. I know that before. A research beat. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party Sti. Okay, we 
were so worried about you. Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment. Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we sp even a pool of sp Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could... Huh? But... Well, we understand that... When you left, instead, luckily, I... <sighs> I wouldn't be... I gave away also. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between mines? Then... Ugh. Plus, we shouldn't get... Actually, yes, I have. You didn't come... We're looking for a... Okay. Traveler? Ah! The voice! It's Hapasia! Ah, what a pleasant surprise! Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just... Hapasia, you're way too excited. Wait, no... <laughs> My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. Mm. You did it? Congrats! <laughs> when my consciousness... That sounds incredible! Oh, remember? My current self has no... You... You can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you... Hold on. Uh... All right now. Hold my hand. I'll... Okay. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human. My family. My friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> Majestic God! Alas, Shay. 
If only that which beats... Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no Puripurna life, but rather... Ah! You! Why are you so mean to me? I found divine... Papaya! That's how I always... Wait, have I... Already lost my mind? Traveler's back? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Hainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait. I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be true. Also, while we were running, the doctor has found a what even in a moonless night. A sh- <gasps> Oh no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Surus Donna for- Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. Oh, that makes sense! Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon, illusions, and lies are from that alchemical dim- Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. A lot of sense. Huh. Do you but Paimon. Uh, That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature, I've spent some time with you and it looks Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually Ah, that. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermensoul. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? What? Do you have any evidence? Hmm. Hmm. So that's what- Tainari, did you leave the video? I did. I noticed if I didn't take action. Now that you mention it, but I still didn't expect them to do something as- Arrogant is creating a the doctor and the balladeer. We have two Fatui harbingers in Sumeru. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene, but then 
what is the connection between creating a new god and restoring... Yeah, it feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring out the sage's goals. Right, we've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. I'll stay here for now. If you're planning to go into... Come find me here if there's... Thanks, Tyler.